Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. My name is Precious. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? Anyways, like I said, I've just noticed that I've been making a whole lot of video in my car and because sometimes when I'm driving or if hobby is dropping me, I just have some inspiration that I'll be like, okay, let me just come make this video as it hot, just so that I don't lose that inspiration. Anyways, if you're just seeing this face for the first time, you're most welcome. My name is Precious. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based. Sorry, guys. I'm listening. I'm waving to my friend. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. I generally film about lifestyle, relationship, food, marriage, faith, migration, and vacancy notification, okay? So if this kind of content you enjoy, do well to subscribe, smash that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, just so you get all of my videos anytime I upload them. So guys, there's this, um, there's something I said I want, I want to come share with my tribe. Okay, I don't know, I think I should start um, naming my subscribers like as my tribe this is because i feel it's um i i feel there's a sense of belonging when i call you all my tribe or tribers i know i mean i used to say guys hey guys hey guys but i want to you know start transitioning i know some people you know like pull up a pool to know what what they want to call their subscribers but anyways tribes tribers um, it's good to always have you guys here so do well to smash that subscribe button so guys like <laughs> so subscribe so tribers there's something uh i want to discuss with you guys and i just thought it necessary to one minute guys so i just thought it necessary for me to come share with my tribers or with my subscribers and i is it's about spirituality okay if you are struggling in your spiritual life as to how to pray to god how to talk to god what to even pray about because sometimes when we sit down to have our devotion with god oftentimes than not we don't even know what to pray about and even when we know what to pray about you know we tend to idolize it by idolizing it i mean we we don't we don't tend to tell god to always have his way or have his best decision for us i give an example say somebody is coming for your hand in marriage and you like the person or the person suits or fits all your what's it called now everything all the dots right all the dots connect and we're like hey god please let your will be done give me the sign that um, Ibuka is mine or give me the sign that Skeleti is mine you know all of those things and at the end of the day we just we just don't say father at the end of this let your will be done okay so that's by idolizing something in our heart so somebody like me I used to journal a lot I used to talk to God I write to him it works for me really and this is where I used to put down all my journaling when I'm praying to God. All these are just all what I wrote for this year. Yeah. For not even for this year, like two years ago. So you can see if you look clearly, I used to say dear rest daddy. I call my my heavenly father daddy as well. So like I journal a lot. It's part of my prayer life thingy. This is from 2020. I started using this book from 2020. 2021 do you understand anytime i'm having my devotion i try to write down to my father i you know i just pen down things that i want things i want him to do if you watch my last not my last video but there's a video i made and i told you i wrote down and i told god this year that i wanted to save more i'm going to put in a card of that video these are the kind of thing i pen down in this my book okay then I came to realize that although there are journals that you can actually buy on Amazon, even on Instagram, just look for something, a journal that helps you pen down what you want God to do for you, right? And I wanted to come and show you guys what, what I, the one I saw and I loved it. And I think it's good to also, you know, transition into journaling if you have 
so i stumbled on this very i'm going to leave in a picture because it's the sun so i trans first of all i i i saw this women's devotional study bible i got it from bella books on instagram i'll be leaving her handle um this is not a paid advert whatsoever it's something like i said if i see something that is beneficial to me i bring it on here because i know it will also be beneficial to you so the features in this women's devotional and bible study is it has devotional resources life issues bible study resources people and events of the bible bible subject index concordance dictionary of the bible verses that may help in particular circumstances jesus names and titles bible reading plan that's one year bible reading plan and marks and chronology of the bible chart guys this is i have look like i have different kinds of bible not because i enjoy buying them but because i really want to understand the print and um the bible do you understand because people don't understand king james version I use King James Version when I'm going to church because my, my church uses King James Version. But if I want to do my devotional, I use NIV or my devotional, like any, any Bible that breaks it down for me, for me to understand or grasp what I'm reading. Do you understand? So look at, just just, just look at, it even gives you storyline, circumstances of what you're going through, whatever you want. This Bible is a, this devotional is a must have for women in this space. If you are following me, please, I implore you to get this. And this is my journal that I got from this person. I hope this thing is showing it rightly. I'm, I'll just leave a cap, like a picture. So in this journal, pen and prayer, pen and prayer, um, prayer journal. So this is what came with it and a thank you note. This is a thank you note. She said, Dear Precious, you are now on the path to developing your spiritual life and having an amazing time with Abba. Welcome to your new dispensation and all of those things. So guys, look at what it is. There's even a Bible devotional plan for you. This, there's even a note. Whatever you want God to do for you, just pen them down. The Bible says, write them down, make it plain on paper, and he that readeth them will make it pass at the appointed time. It's in the Bible. So, I usually have this journal because it helps me journaling helps me a whole lot like i can't even do without journaling journaling helps me can you see guys there are notes there are prayer requests for people for family for friends whatsoever it's a lifesaver i tell you so if you are looking on improving your um your spiritual life if you're looking on getting better with your time with god if you're looking on doing something better for yourself spiritually just get these two these are really these are just the two things that you need you can also just go visit her page she has many many inspirational books that will help you keep your spiritual life in check because we live in times that okay do you know why what prompted me to start journaling I will give you an example of my own life like i i i don't know how to tolerate people when i was single i'll give you like my life experience when i was single if i arranged my house i wanted to be like that when i come back do you understand but when i got married my husband is not that kind of person if i if i um arrange my house my husband comes back and he'll be like oh this house is well arranged he takes up something and just drop it somewhere like just drop it and i'm like is it that this man doesn't like doesn't like prim and proper kind of places but i was meant to realize that you have to learn to accommodate people not that he's a dirty person but because maybe all those things that i maybe i had ocd i don't know but i started penning it down and asking god for grace to be more accommodating of people even my sister like whoever you are i remember when i was still single once I, hey god don't wear any of my things don't wear my clothes if you must wear my clothes if you must use my things you are you just tell me and i will approve of it before you use it do you get but getting married made me understand that i will not i will not always have my way like that it was a problem it was an issue i started writing it down i started asking the holy spirit for grace 
I will always write it down. I'll say, God, as I'm getting married, I know this would, this might go, this might be an issue. It's it was it wasn't it was an issue at some point, but at this point, make person no die. If my husband comes back and maybe drops a cloth or so, a shoe where he's not supposed to be, I will not just complain because how how long will you complain? If somebody is not like you, is not like you. So I will just once I just see that, just say, Holy Spirit, just help me, and I'll just take it back. Do you know? places we are supposed to be see you will have like you will not lose your mind because if you are trying to struggle you will struggle and get tired these are the minute 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 things that somebody might take it as major but if you have major life issues or the minutest things one got to do for you pen them down nothing is too tiny for god to read i tell you nothing absolutely nothing pen them down so guys, I <laughs> so try bus hey God, this is going to take <laughs> this is gonna take a like it's gonna take a while for me to even adjust. So try bus. If this is the kind of um content you like, keep following me for more of these. I am hoping that I've been able to encourage you to take your spiritual life a step further if you haven't. If you love this video please do well to subscribe so just so that it recommends my video to more you know more people who haven't come across this page or this page okay nice my colleague okay if you haven't subscribed please subscribe join the tribe and let's make a movement okay until i come away again next time i remain your girl precious sign